I used body parts of the calf that are normally not used in the leather industry to make leather. And I said, I would like to graduate and use all the, all the animals to make leather. So I went to the slaughterhouse to see the process and there's a lot of, a lot of parts that are never regarded as a valuable material. And I thought, yeah, it's just skin as well, like leather, why not make it into something beautiful and valuable? Every day we made models and sketches and we would react on each other's work. And one day we pumped into ceramics and I was working in stoneware and Dinke was working in porcelain. And we just found those two materials so beautiful next to each other. And then we knew, okay, this is what we want to bring together. And to make this, this knowledge then available to other people, we documented everything. When we showed it then to professional ceramicists, they, they thought we are crazy because porcelain and stoneware is never combined in industry because they behave so differently. Normally cracks. I designed a starter's kit, uh, and in this kit are all, uh, all the tools you need to start up a small scale production for ointment. So, uh, yeah, there's just all the tools, a stove, a press to uh, press the calendula flowers uh, to create the oil. Um, so what, what happens is that I will send this box to an NGO, non-governmental organization in Uganda, and they can uh, make the, all the tools uh, with the local uh, welding shop to, to stimulate the local economy, uh, and then, then just can start a small, this small scale production. It's a windmill where you can recharge your electric bike. It's meant to be along a route along the coast of North Holland, um, and it's it's also it's also marking a cycling route. So it's also working as a beacon in the distance. So when you cycle along the coast, you will see it in the distance popping up, and you know, oh, that's the next stop. It's a really harsh landscape. It's really open, so it's really good that you that you feel that there's the next stop, your next resting point. My project is called Revealing Maps of Cancer Care and a Series of Monomics. Uh, uh, a research has shown that a lot of cancer patients don't understand the treatment path, they, the, 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 the process they are going through. Um, and uh, that only 20% of the information is recorded by a cancer patients. I try to divide the pro process into little steps that patients can follow step by step along their journey. They have an overview of the whole process, but also going a step back, going a step forward, and then see visually what is going to happen instead of in written or spoken text.